Hey Science Explorers, it's Justin again. Today is our last day of exploring the rainforest, and I've been wondering about our impact on this biome. Not us making the documentary we have been respectful stewards of nature while we've been here, but we have learned that a lot of resources that we use every day come from rainforest biomes. I have a feeling that humans collecting all of these resources might have an impact on what life looks like for the plants and animals here, and maybe us humans too. So, without further ado, let's get into it! When we first arrived here, we made a list of some of the resources that we get from the rainforest. That list included wood, fruit, and other common household items. But that list just scratches the surface. We get tons of other things from the rainforest too. Rubber, medicines, oils, and other spices that we use for cooking also come from the rainforest. And maybe the most important resource of them all is the trees themselves. There are millions of trees here, and they all absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen when they go through photosynthesis, cleaning the air we breathe and keeping the Earth's atmosphere healthy. So, when humans take all of these things from the rainforest, what do you think happens? How do you think the living things here might be affected when we start taking some of their resources away? Wow, you can see the forest disappearing right before our eyes. This is called deforestation, the process of clearing or cutting down forests. Why do you think people need to do this? Well, they might be cutting down the trees to collect the lumber, or clear space to farm some of the delicious foods that we learned grow so well in this habitat. Or they might be building homes and roads for people to use while they work to collect the resources here. All of those things are important and help us get lots of things we need. But something doesn't add up here. If humans need resources from the rainforest, should we be destroying those resources in order to get them? But let's consider what happens when you cut down one tree. Thinking about all of the layers and habitats within the rainforest, what other life do you think we might lose along with the tree? We would lose the emergent layer, where the pollinators live and help flowers reproduce, and the canopy layer holds the monkeys and birds that disperse the fruit tree seeds to plant more trees. The predators in the understory would lose the tree cover they use to hide from their prey with camouflage, and that tree would no longer provide the decaying plants and fruits whose nutrients the decomposers would recycle into the soil. The effect of one lost tree might not be much, but cutting down a whole forest of trees would cause a lot of animals to lose their homes, and the cycle of plants and animals would come to an end. And don't forget us, we rely on the oxygen provided by these trees too. Losing these producers would eliminate an enormous source of oxygen that helps to purify the air we breathe. Wow, deforestation and being greedy about the rainforest resources sounds like a path to destruction. What can we do? There has to be ways to stop the rainforest from disappearing, so... Wait, what, Mia? Conservation? Oh, conservation is the protection of vital parts of the rainforest so they can continue to thrive. How do you think we can do that? Take a moment to pause and in your field notes, write down some ways that you think humans can conserve or protect life in the rainforest. One example of conservation is reforestation. That means planting more trees to restore deforested areas. We know it takes a long time for trees to grow, but over time, replanting the forests could bring back rainforests that have been uprooted. We can also designate some rainforest areas as national parks or forest preserves. These protected areas would ensure that some areas of the rainforest can continue their natural cycle of life without any of their resources being taken away. Oftentimes, people can visit these parks to experience the beauty of the rainforest for themselves. Another thing we can do is choose the foods and products that are taken from the rainforest responsibly. Sustainable products are foods or other resources that were obtained without harming life in the forest. 
These might be herbs that were harvested from the wild or cocoa plants that grow among the trees. So none of them need to be cut down for farming. Some of these ways to conserve the rainforest are more challenging than others. I'm not sure if I could create a national park or replant an entire forest on my own. What's that mean? We're, we're already helping? Oh, by sharing all of this knowledge about why protecting the rainforest is so important, we're helping get more people involved. The more you know, the more you can do to educate others and create change. Wow, it's our last day filming and I think I finally realized what this documentary is all about. Sharing how important all of the different biomes are to the world. The Earth supplies us with so many important resources, food, oxygen, shelter, but it can't do that without all of the living things in each biome that contribute to maintaining the environment around them. Thanks for joining us on this amazing adventure together. I'll see you at the documentary premiere. Remember, the wildest discoveries are yet to come. Until our next journey, science explorers,